Is the SNP ready? Nicola must pay £10 billion a year to the UK if Scottish independence is to be desired. Debt of £10 billion, budget shortfall of £15 billion, Scottish pension and pension payable all from 2.5 million Scottish citizens. First Minister Nicola Sturgeon has continued to push the SNP's campaign for another Scottish independence referendum and has expressed hope to rejoin the European Union. Miss Sturgeon and SNP Westminster leader Ian Blackford both pushed for Scottish independence, arguing that Brexit had happened against the will of the Scottish people. Scotland's ruling party and the Scottish Green Party are currently drafting and publishing a joint government prospectus on independence to be delivered to Scots in 2023. However, Nicola Sturgeon is facing a huge Scottish independence nightmare after it was warned Scotland could pay the UK around £10 billion a year over an extended period following the Indiref 2 results. Success Alistair Jones, an associate professor of politics at De Montfort University in Leicester, said, if there is a successful move to Scottish independence, Scotland will have to shoulder some of the UK's debt burden. This could be £10 billion a year, but that will depend on the agreed amount of the estate the Scots will owe and how long it takes to repay. Alternatively, part of the UK's national debt could be transferred to Scotland after independence. The division would be 11 colon 1 between Scotland and the rest of the UK. Professor Jones added, if the UK's national debt were around £2 trillion, a ratio of 11 colon 1 would cost Scots around £180 billion. There will also be assets to consider, e.g. oil and gas, and these will have to be factored in, along with any other liabilities, total UK liabilities, pre-Covid, which is around £4.5 billion. Debt of £10 billion, budget shortfall of £15 billion, Scotland pension and pension to be paid, all to be paid from the meagre 2.5 million citizens of Scotland. The size of the potential debt could leave independence-loving voters indifferent. The latest forecast is given by nationalists. Dr Thomas Sampson, Associate Professor of Economics at the London School of Economics, LSE, wrote in the Herald, cross-border trade and investment will inevitably become more costly after independence, leaving Scottish companies found it difficult to do business with the rest of England and raised the prices of Scottish imports. The rest of the UK now accounts for almost two-thirds of Scotland's trade, a much larger share than the size and proximity of the two countries can explain. The impact of lost trade after independence will cost the Scottish economy two to three times more than Brexit. But don't worry Scotland, because Nicola is ready for a deal with the EU and she will try to get money from the bloc so you guys can pay off your debt.